Dr. Krishna, you just touched upon uh, Nadi uh, diagnosis and also using it as a tool for understanding reality and nature. Could you just go into a deep explanation? Yes. Uh, actually, my first uh, exposure to Nadi Vignan uh, or the knowledge of this Nadi uh, started uh, in a year before I joined uh, medical college when I was uh, staying at my guru's house. Uh, my guru was a great uh, Nadi reader. Uh, he knew everything because he was a sage. Uh, how he learned, how he was able to tell, I don't know because the, the information was just flowing through him, that's all. Uh, so I attended a few classes uh, when he gave the Nadi. That was my first exposure. And after that, it was kind of dormant in me for a long time. And after I uh, became a doctor and practiced for many years, uh, when I wanted to come back uh, uh, to India and wanted to start about uh, start an Ayurveda center, I started studying more of this Nadi Vikyan. And at that time, I took a full uh, course uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, with Dr. Vasant Lard. At that time, uh, he and I had several interactions. In fact, uh, he was teaching, and I told some of the things uh, my guru had told. Uh, he had uh, beautifully uh, compiled that and added on to his teaching, and it became very beautiful. Uh, now you ask me more about this Nadi Vignan, what uh, information you can obtain. I was just giving you the background of it. See, the Nadi can be read uh, uh, in many different ways. Uh, even in one's uh, uh, body itself, there are many places you can uh, read the Nadi. Uh, but most of uh, the time it is uh, read through this uh, radial artery uh, in the uh, forearm. Uh, it can give the information uh, about uh, almost everything. Uh, it, it is read in uh, seven different layers uh, in both Vata, Pitta and Kapha spots. Uh, it can give you information about the doshas imbalance, uh, the sub-doshas which are five for each uh, Vata, Pitta, Kapha, that's fifteen. You can read uh, the imbalance in the sub-doshas, various uh, uh, interconnected uh, imbalances, whether it is complicated or one dosha or one sub dosha or two sub doshas involved, it's very complex reading. Uh, you can also read about the various planetary effects, uh, about your mind, how the mind is operating at that particular time, various organs. Uh, it is an amazing total of 72 information can be obtained. In fact, uh, it can even predict exactly when a person uh, is going to leave the body or uh, what that person was in the past lives, uh, you know, all this uh, information is amazing. Uh, so it is a life, lifetime learning, uh, even at a lifetime I don't know whether one can uh, completely learn it. Uh, once I asked uh, my uh, uh, guru, uh, you know, you say so many things, uh, how anybody can uh, learn this? He says, it's possible, when you have the grace of the Guru, anything is possible, he said. Uh, and you know, Nadi can also be read, uh, distant Nadi. Like for example, uh, if somebody is on the phone or somebody is sitting across you, or you are not even able to see the person and there is some barrier in between the two persons, you can actually look at your pulse and connect to the other person and that person's information flows through your pulse and you can read that. That is what we call distant Nadi reading. And uh, sometimes there could be, if possible, a, a small connections could be done through a thread. The other person can hold the thread and uh, the Nadi reader will hold the thread and reads the Nadi in his uh, hand and get the information. You can also read the Nadi of the trees. Uh, so that is another uh, beautiful way you can do uh, is to connect to the tree itself. Uh, so that is a more uh, advanced level of learning. Uh, you can read the Nadi of the animals. So, a Vaidya, or a true uh, so-called Dr. Ayurveda doctor, with the correct me, uh, way it was said in Sanskrit, is the Vaidya. The Vaidya, if he is a true Vaidya, he should be able to do all these things. Uh, so, that is the true meaning of a Vaidya and the true meaning of a Ayurveda healer. Uh, 